a very late good evening to all of you listeners welcome back to your own channel and today we are talking about the 3 and 13 day of a body blessing where god wants us to remove the consciousness of mind when we remove the consciousness of mind then we are completely surrendered to god's will and that's where we become lighter in our life otherwise we become heavier if we take all the decisions on to ourselves if we think that everything belongs to me i have to take care of everything i am the owner of everything then it becomes more difficult in our life to be lighter in our minds so let's explore this papa says may you finish any right to the consciousness of mind whose mind only god the father rest of the things which my eyes see my ears can hear about are not mine he is just transitory travelers over here on this earth even this physical body is not mine i have to leave it even you have to leave it so god says remove the consciousness of mine then the commotion which happens because of my and mine will be removed with the method of complete surrender and become an equal companion companion of god so let's understand what does it mean you made this promise i will stay with you i will go back with you go back god comes down on earth and he comes down to give us the knowledge of purifying the self so that we souls become lighter and remove our sins and without the sins then we can fly up with god the father easily and effortlessly otherwise we have to leave a body with a lot of pain and suffering and then god says i will go back with you and we will rule together now god is not talking about himself that he's going to come down on earth and rule god talks about his first child adam or brahma whom he wants us to become like his first creation pure divine with good qualities pure divine qualities with powers no sin in the mind clean and clear heart pure heart for the whole of humanity no lust no greed no ego no jealousy no anger nothing is there and he wants us to become that pure so god says then only we can stay with him up there we can go back with god up there when we follow brahma or adam the first child and we will rule together when adam comes on earth again in the golden age this iron age will be destroyed a new age is golden age will be created that's the time adam will be reborn on earth as the first emperor on earth and then he will be ruling and if we want to come along with him then we have to have our qualities and virtues similar to him so then god says you will be able to fulfill this promise when you become equal to your companion adam was created in the image of god if we copy all the things which god is teaching us we can become closer to adam the first child of god so god says you will be able to fulfill this promise when you become equal to your companion companion is god over here that means if you call him god the father then we should have all the qualities of the father then only we have the right to be called as his child now child is a soul not a physical body because my physical parents are different so supreme god father is my father means father of either soul not this body so then god says equality will come by your surrendering equality will come by your surrendering now we what do we need to surrender to god's ways so god says in the end when i come down on earth which has been mentioned in gita also bhagavad gita where god says whenever there is a religiousness on earth and everybody is calling out for me i descend on earth at the end of days and i show my children the path who have been suffering the weak and the meek ones i show them the path the rich ones won't listen to me because they feel that they are in heaven already they feel that they've got their heaven because they got the money they got the wealth they got the things are on them so they feel that they are in heaven but the ones who are poor will recognize me and i come for the poor because they are the ones who shall enter and rule the earth on this very earth itself where heaven will be created after the destruction of this iron age so then god says you will be able to fulfill this promise when you become equal to your companion second thing equality will come by your surrendering when you have surrendered everything all your rights and those of anyone else to those things will finish when we think about the rights or the will which our parents give us if the parents will it to a trust 
what we are NGO, then what can the children do? So the children have to surrender to the parents' will. So here God says, if you surrender to my will, to my ways of thinking, my ways of doing things, God's ways of thinking for the whole world, then you will be the one who will be getting all that I have to give you. That is peace, love, happiness, bliss, power and the kingdom of heaven on earth, not up there, here itself. So God says, when you have surrendered everything, all your rights and those of any one else to those things will finish. Nobody can claim that property, right? When the parents have willed it to somebody else, even the children can't claim it. So similarly over here, what do we need to surrender? We'll explore that. So God says, while someone has a right to it, something is lacking in complete surrender. And so you cannot become equal. So God says, for you to enter the gates of heaven on this very earth, you have to surrender lust, anger, greed, ego, attachment, jealousy, hatred, comparison, competition and many things and body consciousness, the main thing. Become soul conscious just like father is. He's soul conscious. He doesn't have a body. So he doesn't have greed for anything. He doesn't have ego of anything. He says, you also consider yourself to be a soul bodiless being and become as an image of the way I am. An image of humility, an image of purity, an image of victory over vices so he's the one who gives us the knowledge to have victory over the vices he wants us to become like him then god says in order to stay together surrender and to those who lack in complete surrender cannot become equal to god equal to god in qualities we cannot be god but we can get his quality because we call him our father in hindi we call him our pita so param pita or god the father so we have to have qualities of God in us. That's when we can become equal to him. So in order to stay together and to fly back together, God comes on earth to take us back. But if he says you become impure, you have dirtied your clothes. That means we have dirtied our work, our deeds with the sins which we have done. So he cannot take us back. So he says you have to purify yourself only. Then you become capable of coming back to me in the supreme abode and stay with me. And so he says, so you become equal to me quickly. Don't waste your time. Time is less on this earth for all of us beings. We can see the situation around the world. So time is less. He wants us to become equal to him so that we can return along with him. Otherwise, suffering will be there. And it will be difficult if we are not purified. Then we, the souls, won't be able to leave this body. We'll have our thoughts about this body and the things around us. So those will pull us when the time comes to leave this body, it will be difficult to leave. He wants us to learn this method and he comes down and he's teaching us this method at Brahma Kumari's Godly Spiritual University where you can also visit and learn the same. Have a blessed good night. Om Shanti. Mm -hmm.